Have you ever wondered how vast and towering the creatures of ancient myths really were? From the frosty peaks of Norse legends to the sun-baked sands of Mesopotamia, every culture has beheld the immense and the miraculous. These myths are not just tales, they are reflections of human awe at nature's grandeur and a testament to the boundlessness of our imaginations. Giants, dragons, and monsters loom large, embodying the fears and aspirations of civilizations long gone. Prepare to be astonished as we count down the five most colossal creatures from myths around the globe. At number five, we encounter the terrifying Nukalavi from Orkney mythology. Imagine a creature so dreadful that it seems born of nightmares. The Nukalavi is a monstrous fusion, part horse and part man, with a large horse's body and a humanoid torso attached where the head should be. But what truly sets it apart is its lack of skin, revealing sinew and muscle, an unsettling sight that embodies horror. This skinless demon's breath, foul and toxic, was believed to spread disease, wilt crops, and sicken livestock, casting a shadow of fear over the Orkney Islands. Its immense size and destructive nature made the Nukalavi one of the most feared creatures in Scottish folklore, towering not just in stature but in the impact it had on those who believed in its ghastly presence. A ghastly giant, the Nukalavi's reign of terror is unforgettable in the lore of the Orkney Islands. Slithering in at number four is Jormungandr, the Midgard serpent from Norse mythology. Born from the union of the trickster god Loki and the giantess Angerboda, Jormungandr is a creature of colossal proportions. This serpent was so large, in fact, that it could encircle the entire world, biting its own tail in an eternal loop. This act symbolizes the infinite nature of the oceans and the cyclical nature of time. Jormungandr's presence in Norse myths is not just for show. It plays a pivotal role during Ragnarok, the end of the world in Norse mythology. During this cataclysmic event, it is said that Jormungandr will release its tail and rise from the oceans, poisoning the sky and the seas. The climax of its legend comes with an epic showdown against Thor, the god of thunder. This battle is destined to be fatal for both, marking the end of each other's existence. Jormungandr's immense size symbolizes the boundless nature of the oceans and the end of the world itself. Soaring into the third spot is the rock, a gigantic bird from Middle Eastern folklore. Picture a bird so immense that its wingspan could eclipse the widest rivers. A creature of such formidable size that it could easily clutch an elephant within its massive talons. This mythical bird isn't just a figure of grandeur, but also a symbol of ultimate power and mystery in the tales that it graces. The rock's legend is most famously captured in the adventures of Sinbad the Sailor, where it appears as both apparel and a marvel. Sinbad, on one of his epic voyages, encounters the rock who mistakenly picks him and his shipmates up, mistaking them for food. This encounter highlights the sheer scale and unpredictable nature of this mythical creature. Beyond mere stories, the rock has profoundly influenced how birds are viewed in mythology, representing awe-inspiring strength and the untamed forces of nature. Its narrative invites us to ponder the boundaries of the natural world and the fantastical elements that lie beyond. The rock's shadow could darken the sun, a true giant of the skies. At a fearsome number two, meet Tiamat, the Babylonian dragon. In the swirling, chaotic waters of ancient Mesopotamian mythology, Tiamat reigns as a colossal figure. This massive dragon didn't just slither through the rivers of ancient tales, she was a symbol of primordial chaos itself. Imagine a being so powerful and elemental that her very existence predates the gods of the pantheon. Tiamat's legend is intricately woven into the fabric of creation myths. As the story goes, she birthed an array of gods and monsters, setting the stage for a celestial family drama of epic proportions. But her narrative peaks in a cataclysmic showdown with none other than Marduk, the hero and future king of the gods. This battle wasn't just a skirmish, it was a cosmos-shaping event that decided the fate of the world. Marduk's victory over Tiamat marked the end of chaos and the beginning of order, symbolizing a transition from the wild, untamed forces of nature to a world governed by gods and humans. Tiamat's vast form and power make her one of the most formidable creatures in ancient myths. Topping our list at number one is Ymir, the colossal frost giant from Norse mythology. In the icy expanse of the ancient Norse cosmos, Ymir towered above all, a being of primordial frost and immense power. According to myth, Ymir's very existence was so monumental that his body gave birth to the world itself. His flesh was transformed into the earth, 
a vast landscape of mountains and valleys. His blood became the roaring seas and oceans covering the planet in a blue embrace. And from his bones arose the towering mountains, the very skeleton of the earth. Emir's size was not just physical, but cosmic, his body a canvas for creation. From his enormous stature sprang the very world itself, making Ymir the largest and most impactful mythical creature of all. These titanic beings from myths not only captivate our imagination, but also embody the ancient world's interpretation of nature's magnificence and terror. From the terrifying depths of the ocean with Jormungandr to the vast expanses of the sky ruled by the rock, each creature we explored holds a mirror to the fears and awe of our ancestors. They symbolize chaos, creation, and the unstoppable forces of nature, inviting us to ponder the limits of our own understanding. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed delving into these mythological giants, please subscribe for more fascinating tales. Until next time!